Today is July 26, 2017, and I'm here with the whole gang. Everybody's going to help me. You know Sandy. To my left over here is my granddaughter, Athena. <laughs> Athena, how old are you? Eleven. Eleven. And then over here is Cheyenne. She's going to be 16 in October. And the camera person is Georgina, my daughter. And my wife is sitting over there crocheting. Say hi, Mom. <laughs> She's waving. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So, uh, uh, people are saying uh, my kicks are low. <clears throat> In Trim Notion, we don't kick above the groin area. I kick to the groin area or the urinary bladder. Can I kick to the head? Absolutely. Am I flexible enough to do that? Absolutely, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so come on over here, Cheyenne. I'm gonna use Cheyenne and Sandy, so put this on your shoulder. Put it as close to your neck as you can. And back up so you get right on the heel. Okay, I'm gonna lift up. Good. Okay, Sandy, give you a push. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's all. And we'll go to the other one. Thank you, Shanahan. Put it as far back to the heel as you can. There you go. Does that hurt your shoulder? Good. Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, darling. Okay. I'm going to use Sandy as my Uki for a moment. Stand still. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be kicking to her head. Okay. It's effortless for me. But. The ideal place to kick for me is the groin or urinary bladder. Why go up so high when I got my hands? Anyways, I'll do a rear front snap kick. And I'll do the other one. My goal is here. This is where I'm gonna be kicking, okay? So if you see kicks like this here, that's where they're supposed to go, okay? All right, so this is Sandy. She's gonna help me today. I'm going to do, in the last video, I did 10 upper body basics. So in this video, Sandy's going to do one through five first, and then I'm going to show the bonkai of what we're doing. Bonkai means explanation of the basic, okay? So whenever you're ready, I need you to say first basic, and then go ahead and do it, and go all the way up to five. First basic. Yeah! Second basic. Third basic. Fourth basic. Fifth basic. Okay, good. All right. Now I'll show the bone cut. In trim notion, our first basic goes to the bridge of the nose. So when the people are sparring, they got to have a. a a gear on with a bubble because our first basic is right to the first, right to the bridge of the nose. We want to hit with these two knuckles right here. The thumb is placed on top of the wrist, on top of my hand here. So when we hit the bridge of the nose, since the bridge of the nose and the nose itself is not bone, it is cartilage, if we hit the bridge of the nose and we hit it really hard, the nose should flatten against the face allowing this thumb to penetrate the eye socket. Will it blind somebody? No, but it will definitely impair the vision, okay? So the basic, just kind of relax for me a minute. So the basic is I step forward with my right foot and I'm gonna punch with my right hand. Can I step forward with my left foot? Absolutely, same way. The posting for beginners, I like them to put them here because this covers solar plexus, cardiac plexus, it's kind of protects. As you watch Sandy move, you see she goes from here and to here and to over. So she can because she has more advanced, okay? So the more advanced you get, the more this is freedom of movement, okay? So I'm gonna step forward and explain it. I'm gonna show you on this side, then I'll show you on the other side. As I step forward, I wanna definitely hit the bridge of that nose. So I step forward, I hit the bridge of the nose, and the thumb 
penetrates the eye socket. These ribs are exposed here. If I just bring it back down here, then my kidneys are exposed. So I want to be able to take my elbow and drop it down. Come on over here on this side if you would. Okay. Same basics, you can see it on this side here. I step forward, make the strike. Again, if I bring it back here, my ribs are, are exposed. I want to take my elbow and drop it down. Like that. Okay. All right, second basic. Second basic is for in close fighting. So someone has a hold of us here. Okay. Now, sometimes we can't move back, and this is a very dangerous position to be in. But all we need is just a short distance so I can see. It comes through the chest. Final destination is the chin. So if she holds again, a little tighter, there you go. I just need this much room. That's it. Okay, third basic. Third basic, I explained in the last video that I'll show you what these elbows are about, why we use the elbow. So right now, the ideal position for her to punch our opponent is the right side. Can she punch with the left side? Absolutely. But ideal would be right. Okay. So we're going to do the right deal first. Right? So she's punching to me, slow so I can talk. This comes in here like this here. Now I'm going to do a side shoot to the head. This way. Now, this elbow is here because if she punches, that kind of protects. Now watch where this goes. Right there on the bicep. Okay. <laughs> So let's do it again slow. Bless you. Rock. Punch. Strike. Hit. Okay. I'll show you without moving. Okay. That's what she did. Same, same movement. Same movement. Fourth basic. I just realized she did that, so there's no reason for me to do it. Fourth basic. Fourth basic, I want to cut the carotid artery. I want to hit this artery here. If I hit this on the right side, the left side should shut down, no guarantee. Okay? One of my students, medical students, said the reason why you feel faint or that shuts down is because when you hit the carotid artery, for a split second, it's stopping the blood going to the brain. So the body quits. In order to get to the artery, I have to lift the chin a little bit. So I step forward, I lift the chin a little bit, see, and I feel her pulse right now. What I want to do is I want to take my, my hand here, this is a shuto, and I want to push it towards this shoulder. That. I want to cut that artery. So, I come in, I catch, and then push. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the movement, all right? Uh, let's go back to third basic now. She's gonna punch with the opposite side. This is not the preferred side, but it don't matter. So she punches to the face, that covers, strikes, and back to an on guard come on. Okay. Basic number five. A lot of stuff going on there. It's a down block and a punch. But nobody on the street is gonna do just one punch. They do multiple punches. So, we're going to start off by Sandy punching me here. Go ahead. Good, that's very good. Okay, let's do it again. Punch goes in, good. Now, she's going to punch, because this is blocked here. She's going to punch low. All right. Now, she's going to punch high. I'm going to block and strike at the same time. Go ahead. That's the move. So that's basic number five. Let's do it one more time, nice and slow. Okay? So the punch comes in, cross body block. Slower than that so I can talk. <laughs> okay. She's gonna punch low. Okay. She's gonna punch up. Bang. Come on. Okay. So uh, let's go six through ten now. Come on over here a minute. Okay, uh, can we shut that off for a moment?